Get our timer going. And let's look previously. In Snail Trek. In search of a new home for your people, your crew of snails traveled across the galaxy to a new planet where lettuce grew plentifully. Or so they thought. Upon arrival, your captain ended up mysteriously murdered and your ship was disabled. Nonetheless, you managed to crash land on the lettuce planet, only to discover a barren wasteland. How could all your telescopes and sensors have been wrong? I don't know, but they were. While relieved that your crew hadn't sent out the all green signal to your homeworld, which would have started a mass migration to this desolate planet, you're now faced with a more immediate threat, the survival of your crew. You managed to escape your damaged ship and followed faint lettuce signals down to a mysterious tower. There, a Jacques emerged and revealed one of your crewmates had been an imposter all along, leading you straight into their trap. Oh, we can, can I don't think we can continue that again. Okay. We last left our intrepid mollusks as they had fallen into the Jacques trap. Are they about to be cooked? Night turns today on planet K291B, as the jocks figure out something. Gaston, I need you to get the secret codes from those terrible snails. We have to send out their all green signal. Our plan must not be foiled. I understand, Aaron, but I have one question. What was the thing you mentioned about the largest escargot farm in the galaxy? I thought we were doing this because the snails were about to invade our home planet. Yes, yes, of course, you're right. It's just a fortunate coincidence that they also happen to be extremely tasty. You know as well as I do the snails' terrible history. From planet to planet, eating everything, destroying the environment, a galactic menace. We've known for a while that our planet was probably next, our technology is superior. But there's no way we could defend against their vast numbers. If their numbers are so vast, how will we corral them here? You let me worry about that, Gaston. For now, work on getting the codes from them. I need to rest for a bit. My stomach doesn't feel well. I suspect it may have had something to do with that artificial lettuce concentrate I had to eat when disguised as Zumer. Oh, and one more thing. I know the snails are chained to the wall in the jail, but they should still be considered dangerous. Their slime is highly toxic. If you need to get close to them, you might want to shoot them with a salt weapon to dry them up a bit. Oh no, a salt weapon. No, oh, he's going up. Okay. Use the arrow keys to move. Alright, we get the tutorial. Hmm. This time it's out of 55. What? We're oh my god, we're playing as the chef? Wow. This is, uh, we're playing as the enemy now. This is uh, unexpected. This is the lab and transmission tower. Oh no, Snatcher, don't worry. He's, they're Russian French. It's, it was an immigrant from Russia to France. Russian Frenchman. Uh, that you've been responsible for maintaining for the past few months. It has been transmitting lettuce signals to the snail's planet to fool them. In addition to the lettuce garden, there is a jail for the snails, a table with a computer, an elevator to the top of the tower, an exit to the outside, stairs to the storeroom, a listening device at the top of the stairs, and various other pieces of equipment. Uh, yes, you could move all, yeah. Press escape to show game option. Uh, if you do uh, FAQ, do the exclamation FAQ, you can read all about the, uh, the system. Oh, we have secret codes. These are the secret all green codes you've collected. Actually, you don't have any yet. But if you did, they'd appear here. Better get on it. Indeed. All right. Um, can we use the computer? Mission parameters. Mission one of two. Obtain the four secret codes needed to send the all green signal to the snail's home world. Status in progress. Okay. Mission two of two, enter these into the snail's spacecraft computer. That means you gotta go back to there. Okay, encyclopedia, nearby civilization, the snails. The snails are molluscoid creatures that populate a planet in the delta quadrant. 
They have a history of depleting their planetary resources and seeking out new planets to occupy with their enormous numbers. Current intelligence suggests they are seeking out new planets to invade and on which to settle. Given the bountiful greens on the Jacques homeworld, it is likely our planet is one of the options they are exploring. This is the reason we set up this decoy plan. Anatomy, a single slimy soft body with a spiral shell, two eyes on stalks, and two feeling antennae. Common craft, Slimex class explorer. A very real danger is the mucus that the snails can spray from their bodies. It is highly acidic and will eat through most organic compounds. Their ability to spray mucus is limited when they are dehydrated, say by salt. Wow, I can't believe we're going to be playing these, these guys now. Uh, the octoids are eight-armed molluscoids that populate several planets in the Gamma Quadrant. Highly advanced technology, but they generally leave other races alone and pose no threat. Eight appendages called tentacles and a soft body. Uh, soft bodies. Common craft, a Big Two class explorer. The Kaitans are a slow-moving molluscoid race from the planet Kaitan. Though intelligent, they are not known to possess space travel. Fungations. The Fungations are a Type II civilization on the Kardashev scale. They consist of a small umbrella-like fleshy head on top of a jointed foot and leg. The Fungations are the most advanced race known to the Jacques. They are relatively friendly, and their common craft is a massive starship that has... Cooperian double fusion extractors in the front and back, enabling it to travel trillions of times faster than light. Okay. Fromage incident. Jeez. Moon base fromage incident. 20 years ago, the snails attacked the moon base fromage research station, killing all Jacques station there and setting up a colony. The Jacques government did not press the issue at the time, since the moon base was technically classified. However, we've known since that, that the sna- that Wait, we've known since then that the snails are ruthless when it comes to occupying inhabited planets. They must be stopped at all costs. Ooh, fromage. Interesting. No, don't. Stop giving me hints. This is the lettuce garden you use to transmit the fake lettuce signals to the snail's planet and spacecraft. The studio lights above serve as grow lights, and a camera and other sensors pick up the lettuce signals. These signals are then amplified and beamed out by the transmission tower, giving the outward appearance that the entire planet is covered in lettuce. It's simple, solid, and basic science, but you are very proud of it. Okay. Um, it says Organic 3D Scanner. To the left of it is a floppy disk drive and a large button. Oh, I was trying to look at the door, but okay. There's a large button. Push the button. Bioskin 3000 3D printer. Error, res uh, re a rosin tank empty. No storage media accessible. Oh, it's a 3D printer, man. How about this button? Error, unable to scan, no data storage found. So we're gonna need some floppies or something. It's a painting that you put there to spruce up the room a bit. Okay, what about this painting? Okay, same thing. All right, um, can we get the lettuce? Oh, maybe. We did in the first two uh, chapters putting, but now we're playing as the uh, Jacques, apparently. Yeah, is it going to kit mode? I'm in uh, kit mode. I'll be I'll be to Southern California as, as soon as I finish snail track. <laughs> you grab a bunch of fresh lettuce. Ooh, four points. Nice. Can we eat the lettuce? You shove the lettuce into your mouth. It's bursting with freshness and crispness. Not as good as escargot, but it would provide a nice garnish on a dish of sliced fried escargot. All right, let's get more lettuce. Okay. Um, so they said, there's a weapon here yet. You pick up a salt weapon. It comes in handy for drawing up the snails a bit so that they're less dangerous. Get code. You grab the secret code. Uh, oh, okay, we got over five points now. Um, you might want to have a go look in the storm at the top of the stairs. Stop telling me what to do, game. Oh my god, I can't take it. These are the secret codes you've collected. They are needed to send the all green signal from the snail's ship. You have Aaron slash Doomer's code. You are missing Christian, Shelley, and the captain's codes. Oh, wait a minute. Don't we know that from before, though? Oh, shit, yeah. 
Christian had 69. I remember that. I don't know about... And then we got the captains. I don't know if we ever got Shelly's, but... Who knows if we're supposed to know about that. The table's a nice, rounded, smooth, modern kind of affair. On top of it sits computer console. Look, jail. The jail's comprised of impenetrable soundproof glass, resistant to snail mucus, and has panels mounted on the wall onto which the snails can be chained. There's a door on the front side. Those evil snails look like they're talking to each other, probably up to some kind of plan. The stairs lead up to the listening device in a small storeroom. Oh yeah, okay, so maybe we can listen to what they're saying. Is that the device? At the top of the stairs is a listening device that is connected to the snail's jail cell. It's styled like one of those new fancy phones. It lets you listen in on the snail's conversations without them knowing. That they're knowing? Alright, uh, use device. You switch on the device. The glass jail is soundproof, but this device lets you listen in. The snails have no idea that you can hear them. Just remember, we can't give them the secret codes no matter what. Oh man, what I wouldn't give for some of that fresh lettuce, though. I can smell it from here. Yeah, me too. It does smell good. I'd even give him my coat if he asked me for it. <laughs> no, Christian, you can't do that. We can't ever give him the codes. Ooh, he didn't try listen. I did listen. Oh my god. Ah, uh, my stomach feels upset. I hope I'm not going to throw up. We should never have eaten those tubes of artificial lettuce. Why did the ship's emergency kit contain such awful stuff? I don't know, but I think I might leave my mark on the walls just like you did. Sorry about that. Can we look at the mark? You don't see that. Okay. Let's go to the storm first. They say open box before I even look to see that there is a box here. Oh, like, shit. these hints are out of control, my god. It's ridiculous. You walked into a room, boom, here's what to do. Like, just play the game yourself, my god. It's a secured box with a lock for floppy disks. In the box. The box of flocky, floppy disks is locked, but you seem to have lost your keys. They were in your pocket, and now, hmm, when's the last time you had them? Ah, yes, you used them shortly before you went outside to take a break, before the snails arrived. Okay. You sat down on the ground, and you were eating a salad, since lettuce is plentiful right in this spot, and then, then you had to rush inside to fix some equipment. You don't recall having them since then. Oh. It's your standard storeroom cupboard. Open the cupboard. There's a bottle of rosin in the cupboard. Take the rosin. You pick up the rosin. This is Dr. Imprimeur's magic rosin for 3D printers. On the bottle it says, realistically mimics many organic materials for print jobs that correspond to the Wee Wee data standard. <laughs> oh man. What is on the counter here? You don't see that? It's Oh, it's a high-tech LED lantern. All right, take the lantern. Take it the lantern. This is an LED lantern that mimics natural light. It's currently off. This is a salt weapon. It rapidly dries up snail's mucus, stunning them for several minutes. Nice. I wonder if we can get a death if we don't use that. That would be good. Cool. All right, maybe we can go outside and see. Oh yeah, we should save and then see if we can get some keys. Can you guys hear the background music okay? Is it too low? I think it might be too low, huh? Hint, try toxic. Stop giving me hints. Okay, yeah, it's too low. I really need to figure out this audio situation. Oh, that's why it's coming from a different source. Ah, this is way too complicated. Yeah, so you can even hear it all. That sucks. Can you hear it now? You've been working at this transmission tower for months now. It's hard work, so sometimes you like to take a break, relax outside. Maybe have a bite to eat, perhaps a salad, while looking up at the hazy skies. Uh, what is that, black? 
This is a memorial to those lost in the fromage incident. There is more information about this on the computer in the lab. Sometimes you like to come out here and see if you need your lunch. Yeah, search. Uh, look tower. The tower reminds you a bit of the architecture of the Jacques' home planet. It's been a while since you've been back. Okay, so we... I don't see anything in the ground. Maybe... Go in here? Oh, this goes into the cave. It's dark in here. I hope it's not dangerous. Okay, so we should absolutely try to get a death here. As the chef. Nice. You pro you'll probably never know what that was, but you do know that it enjoys a fine meal of Jacques. All right, so we should be able to turn on the lantern to get by the gas. Yep. Now the question is, though, are we searching for the keys or are we going to be coming here to the ship later? From up here, you can see your transmission tower off in the distance. Aaron slash Uber said the sales ship crashed the pier somewhere. Well, it's quite a scene. The snail ship is dangling precariously at the edge of a cliff and has sustained significant damage from a large shard of rock. It's opened a hole in the right side of the ship. It looks big enough for you to enter. There's some sort of survival kit on the ground. Oh, so this is where we need the other let us concentrate. That was in the box. So we are going to be using that. You take one of the tubes and let us concentrate. Should be the last one. This is a tube of Paul Snailsman U238 boosted lettuce concentrate. In tiny letters on the side of the tube is the text, Contained Artificial Lettuce. You marvel at the crap that snails are willing to eat. Don't need to the box. No use for the box itself. So there's nothing else in there. Right? The survival kit is empty. Alright, close the kit. Now, here's the question. Can we, uh, can we get a death if we go in there? Anyway? By placing the subject in a sort of hibernation, these pods presumably enabled those awful snails to travel across vast distances in space. They're all empty. Look around. This is the spacecraft in which the spa uh, snails travel to the desolate planet. It's a big room with a large view screen and a computer console. Along the walls are some kind of machine that looks filled with dead lettuce. There's also a small closet and a loose floor panel on the left wall. Some smoke is coming out from behind the large view screen. The large screen shows what's outside. While not an actual window, it shows live feed from the cameras on the exterior of the spacecraft. The ship is balanced fairly precariously on this clip, and the view outside reflects that. Some smoke is coming from behind the right side of the view screen. Oh yes. You're behind the large view screen of the spacecraft where there appears to be a battery that powers something. Battery. The battery looks like it exploded. There's a burn mark on the wall and the top part of the battery is melted. You can just make out writing on it that says Duracellary type Quint D. I wonder where you can find another one of those. You remove the battery and toss it aside. Oh, we didn't get any points for that. The battery compartment still looks reasonably intact. Okay, I can't get, so we're supposed to get the one. I wanna see if we can trigger a death somehow by Shifting the weight. The closet is empty. The snails must have cleaned it out. Enter a hole. Yeah, there's it. Oh, so we're not going to be able to... You're too tall to make it through the maintenance shaft. Can we crawl? Even if you crawl, the walls of the maintenance shaft would create too much friction for you to make any progress. Oh, so we might have to lube ourselves up. <laughs> um... Can we rub ourselves and concentrate? Rub, concentrate. You can't do that with the lettuce concentrate. All right, so we need, need some sort of, uh, I don't think we can rub the rug in here. Can't do that with the rug. All right, um, let's see if we can get a death here. The exit hatch doesn't seem to open. I guess it's jammed. You've already found a way in and out of the ship, so no need to go down there anyway. Um, yeah, we didn't do much with the snails, so we can go back and try that. Oh, the lantern turns on on him automagically.
conclusion. Uh, the key's not here. Don't see that. Okay. Open the door. Talk to Christian. You need to be closer to Christian if you want to talk. There's a door in the front of the glass jail. The sna snails are tied to the wall with chains, so it's okay to open it. Open the door. Hint, try... Still need to be closer. What was that? <laughs> nice! The mucus! Christian sprayed you with mucus! Alright, good. I was, I was wondering... Got him! I was wondering whether we could get that down. Your lax security protocols around these evil snails have resulted in you having succumbed to snail slime. You might want to salt them a bit next time. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna salt the snail. Sorry, I'm too stupid to shoot. Okay, shoot snail. You take aim at the snail and shoot a salt weapon. Assault. The snail shrivels a bit and appears somewhat stunned. Tuck, snail. You need to be closer. How close do you want me to be? What are you gonna do to us? That's all he says. I feel better now. Uh-oh. Um... What are you gonna do to us? This only works for a limited time. Um, there's panels in which they can be chained. Can I remove chain? You try to untie Shelly from the post, but the chain latch appears seems broken. It won't come off the wall. Maybe try Christians. Look, mucus. I don't understand mucus. Oh, mark. Okay. Shoot snail. Remove chain. You detach Christian's chain from the wall and hold on to it. So what is that thing on the wall there, though? The panel? The wall panel is a place onto which to chain a snail. Shelly, the blue snail, is currently chained to this one. No, she didn't. Can we take him with us? Yep. Oh, so the question is, where do we want to take him? Can I feed the snail? You can't give Christian. Um... Yeah, I guess we needed him to open the, or to get to the battery for us. It would be unwise to go outside with the snail in tow. Oh, really? I guess we can 3D print him, maybe. And then get his costume. Wait. The 3D scanner, okay. Put Christian in scanner. Aha. Push button. Unable to scan no data storage file. Okay, so we need a floppy. And that floppy requires is in the box in the storm, which requires a key, which we don't have. Fair enough. Did he have the key? We know it's outside, but I didn't see it there. And which machine was this? That's the 3D printer. So we need to scan him and then print him, okay. All right, uh, can we offer lettuce? Gross, I had the artificial lettuce concentrate in the last chapter. My stomach is paying for it now. I want some fresh lettuce. Well, I have fresh lettuce. Wait, who, who even said that? You hand the slimy snail some of the fresh lettuce. Oh my God, thank you, thank you. You may have overheard that Christian would trade the secret code for some lettuce, but you never actually asked him directly for the code. He just thinks you're being generous. <laughs> oh, and I didn't give a point for 15. Well, he might still want it though. Yeah, so let's get more. Okay. Trade lettuce. No, not take. He said trade. Wow, it changes it. What the hell? Old lettuce? Wow, you can't trade the lettuce. Negotiate? Maybe that's something you could do, but this game can't. Hmm, that is strange. Can I, cl um, close?
close the door. Okay, good. Uh, let's see if we can go up there. Can we push the button to the elevator? You press the button to call the elevator, but nothing happens. I suppose Aaron slash Zoomer doesn't want to be bothered right now. He said he was sick from eating the artificial lettuce. I guess you'll have to figure out how to get the codes on your own. Oh. Yeah, autocorrects. I can't even do it. Right. All right. Um, so I want to see, what is that thing there? Hmm. Maybe if I look at it, it'll explain. Oh, that's the button to open the door. Okay. So I thought that was on the back wall, but yep, no, that's just the button to get the door open. Got it. So we probably need that slime on the wall for something. Alright, can we load the rosin onto the, um, the printer? You find an opening on the printer and pour the bottle of rosin into it. I hope that's the right hole. It was indeed. All right, so we got the rosin. Can you see? All right. So we, we need the keys. That's a big problem right now. Find. Can we find the key? You don't see that. Maybe can we walk fast over here? Well, that was surprising. I guess you learned your lesson. Don't go over that away. At least you found a cozy place to spend your last days. Nice. You appear to have died. Yes, I appear to have. So, uh, is the same thing gonna happen if we go up to the right? Oh, what the heck? It looks like it seems like an unfinished room. <laughs> what? It's like that one Twilight Zone episode. Is that like a podium? What's up with that? It looks like some kind of donation box. There's a small inscription on it that reads, Proceeds go to providing new uniforms for the glory of the jocks. Uh, I don't have any money though. Uh... Make donation. No. Donate. Oh. Wow. So there's janitor donation DLC. Wow, for two dollars, I guess that's the donation. You may play with your characters dressed in a classic janitor uniform at any time. Toggle this ability in the options menu. It also adds a secret option to the Jux computer rewarding you for your patronage. <laughs> Lovely. So this is all an Easter egg kind of, well, not an Easter egg, but. Oh, achievement unlocked, road to nowhere. Ooh, we got an achievement. All right. That's cool. Went on the road to nowhere. I prefer to go to. So I don't know, we, I don't know where the key is supposed to be. I don't see it though. Uh, read the plaque. There's more information, yeah, I'm alive, all right, fine, hang on. It could be in one of the holes in the cave, maybe. I want to get more information about how we lost it, though. Go back here to see. Um, open. Box. You seem to have lost your keys. They were in your pocket, and now you used them shortly before you went outside to take a break. Before we went outside, before the snails arrived. Sash on the ground, you were eating a salad. Did Russians had fixed equipment? Recall. Oh, so maybe it's actually inside. Um, find key. I don't see that. Look under table. Look in garden. Bright lights and a camera pointed at the garden. This is this is what you as source images for the lettuce transmissions to the snail's homeworld. Seems like a word was missing there. Okay. Um I don't 
can't see the floor, really. Open the printer? I can't open the 3D printer. Okay. Talk to Christian. Scan a door soundproof. Open door. Talk snail. What are you gonna do to us? Again. Kill you. Say kill you. I don't think I can do that. Alright. Close door. So I'm wondering if we I doubt we would have blown it already. I doubt I doubt we would have blown it to get the codes from him, but we'll see. Uh, I could offer it to her, but apparently we can't even use the ver the verbs. The trade doesn't even work. She's saying anything to herself? Shelly is alone. It doesn't seem to be talking to herself. It might be useful to have Christian in there with her. We already listened to him. Okay. So it's unclear. We were fixing some equipment and then we lost the key. So that's why I was trying to open this to look at it. But... That sucks. All right, um, I guess we could try searching the caves for this. Or we could threaten him with lettuce concentrate. Fresh lettuce. Oh. Looks like someone or something lives here. Enter hole. Entering the monster's hole doesn't seem like a wise plan. If you need to give something to the monster, maybe you can just throw it in there. Maybe. Whoops. Uh, throw in lettuce. Or no, concentrate. You toss the tube of lettuce concentrate into the hole. Ugh. Man, the thing blew up. What is this? It's one of the partial all green codes. Whoa, I was hoping for the key, but okay. Take code. Why is it a question mark? These are the secret codes you've collected. They're needed to send. You have Aaron Zoomer. Oh, the, that was the captain's codes. How did they eat the captain who I thought was the garlic? Or the butter? Okay, so we just need Christian and Shelley's. Got it. All right, so we found a use for the concentrate. Um, what? The, th the guy's back? So it was the snail? that The dead captain snail that was already dead that... He blew up? I don't understand. You peek in the hole but can't see anything. Can I throw in a lantern? You get the feeling they eat pretty much anything that's thrown into the hole. The lantern is probably no exception, despite their dislike of light. I guess we could try throwing in the lettuce, since we have an inexhaustible supply of that. You toss the fresh lettuce into the hole. It sounds like something ate it, but not much seems to happen. Oh. Oh, right, and I don't have any more lettuce. I wanted to do a. I wanted to do a uh, runner, just in case I saw the key on the ground here, you know, which was only visible with the light or something. Hmm. No. All right. Well, we got some progress there. Yeah, Dare to Dream Two has been the longest one so far. I think it was like 238. I really
really hope this game doesn't have Walking Dead, because we may not be able to get the uh, codes from Christian. Let's try getting them from Shelly. So, because she's still not. Yeah, I think she's. Oh no, she's not. Shoot. Snail. Okay. Save here just in case we die. So we can't. If we offer the letter, she just takes it. Ask for codes, maybe? I'm not giving you any code. You're gonna murder our whole race. Offer lettuce for codes? The secret codes don't seem impressed by the fresh lettuce. You ain't? See? Offer it? Yeah. She consumes it almost instantly. Thanks, but I'm not giving you anything in return. Damn it. Alright, so... So we can't do offer, we can't do trade. Threaten? Snail? You don't understand threaten. Uh, can we shoot her again when she's down? Wait, what? Okay. Look wall. It looks like one of the snails has vomited on the wall. Gross. Can I remove, and I can't remove the chain right Get code. If you want to get the secret codes from the snails, try asking them about the codes. Promise you won't offer them. Yeah. All right, let me try uh, Christian. Oh, whoops. I can give you the code. I mean, maybe if I could have some lettuce, make deal or something. Uh, well, maybe first because he, he's asking for lettuce. Now we can do it. Okay, okay. I said we'd give you my code. Fine. Grishan hands you a piece of paper. All right, there we go. Look codes. All right, so now we just need Shelly's. Good. So his code was 99. Well, that was not the code from... <laughs> that was not the same number as the code from episode one, or, or uh, chapter one. All right, good, so we got that back. All right, so we probably don't need him anymore. Um, we still need the keys are a big problem right now. We're also gonna have to find a way we can get the key code for Shelly. You know, we could try, um... Let me see if we remove... If we take him back there. And we listen to them again. Is the dialogue gonna be different now that Christian already gave up his code? You secure the evil snake back under the jail wall. Christian, you idiot, why did you give him the code? Can't you control yourself? Ouch, hey, you didn't need to do that. What is that anyway? The leader? You still had it? Do you realize what's at stake? Ooh, take the leader. You can't read. Oh, I probably should shoot him again before I die. Okay, take the leader. You pick up the small device, which you think might be a leader. All right, good. So that's another point there. Uh, close the door. Oh, where are you going now? Here. All right, let's use the listening device. Christian, I have an idea. Can you get us out of here? I'm more concerned about our people than us. I just don't want him to send the yellow green code and trap our people. I'm worried if, if he kills me, he'll eventually find my coat on my body. I thought of eating it, but the paper is printed on is non-biodegradable. So maybe I can give my coat to you? But wouldn't he just find it on my body too? Possibly, but he might not bother to look. Since like an idiot, you already gave him your coat. I don't know, it's worth a chance. No way, Shelly, I don't want any more evidence on me. Fine, it was just a thought. Oh damn, that would be great. 
Or I guess I could just kill her now to get it, but... I don't know why you can't just t remove it for them. Christian, have you thought any more about what I said? About giving you my code? I told you I'm not comfortable with that. Okay, it's just looping now. Too bad you aren't Christian, you think? Well, yeah, we're trying to disguise ourselves as him, for sure. Oh, we could send the all green code, maybe even if we don't have the, um, what, we have to do it from here? No, not that door. Excuse me. Are you drunk? I'm right next to this door. Okay. Let's uh, remove two. So yeah, definitely Kent bringing him back was definitely a good call because we even got the um, the leader. I can't do that? Or you can Put snail in scanner. Okay, close door. Alright, let's grab some more lettuce while we're here. Use the door. I mean, there's obviously lettuce right there, but... Let's see what it does outside. Big. Move the dinner around it, you don't see anything special. Oh, so is the implication that um, our key is where the lettuce is, that they buried it? You brush aside some dirt and find some pieces of lettuce from the sandwich you ate out here, and right next to them are the keys that you lost. You picked them up. Nice. All right. Oh, no, no, we'll go there. Oh my gosh, we almost went. Jeez. Wait, what is this other thing? Oh, that, oh, that's the big lettuce inside. Okay. All right, definitely save. So now we have the keys for the floppy, I believe. Hello, key. This is your set of keys, which includes a key to the box of floppy disks. You forget what the others are for. Unlock box. You insert your key into the box and open it. Look in box. Well, the box looks like you would expect. Take disks. You pick up the disk. This is a floppy disk for storing data. This one holds 140 mega octets. You're glad that your technology is so much more advanced than that of those slimy snails. All right. Oh, is there anything else in the box? No. All right, cool. So I think we're done with the storerooms so now to load the floppy. Remember, don't don't copy that floppy. You slide the floppy disk into the drive slots. Push button. You should have told uh, Phil Fortier uh, circa 2004. Done. Remember, because he ripped off all those assets from Sierra. I guess he learned in the intervening years. Um, take floppy. Reject the floppy disk. Insert floppy. Slide the floppy disk into the drive slot on the printer. Push button. You push a button on the printer and it comes to life. Using the rod that we had. Yeah, right, in the farm there. There we go. Alright, here's our fake. But I guess we're gonna be at, uh, putting this costume on. Done! It looks like it printed a nice snail suit. Nice. Alright, open door. Not that door. Oh, I guess there is no door here. Alright, get suit. Look suit. This is a 3D printed, or custom printed, snail suit. The Bioskin 3000 printer even effectively mimicked the snail's slimy, slippery exterior. Wear suit. <laughs> nice. Oh, Chief not locked this, guys. Question is, how do we, how do we convince, uh, what's her face that? How we even open the door? Oh, 
guess that's the way we did it. <laughs> Amazingly, Shelly is so out of it that she doesn't realize you, Christian, are enchained and just walked in through the door. Talk to Shelly. I hope you're keeping my plan in mind in case you change your mind. Just ask me about the code if you change your mind. Ask about code. To ask Shelly about code. Ah, you've changed your mind. I'm glad to hear it. I'm not sure this will work, but it's worth a shot. Here it is. Shelly hands you a piece of paper. Nice, we got all the codes. These are the secret codes you've collected. They are needed to send the Algreen signal from the snail ship. You have all of them. Awesome. And now we should be able to get the battery as well. It would be humiliating to go outside looking like this. Oh, fine. Remove the suit. We can go back to the ship. We should be able to get reach the uh, the good battery since not only are we in the form of the snail, but the, even the exterior of the snail is slippery. And we can also send the algorithm signal. So, I mean, oops, just about have it. There we go. Alright, um, let's do this first. Where are the suit? Take battery. You pick up the large battery. Nice. What? We didn't get a point for that. Well, I guess it makes sense. Oh, you automatically remove the suit. Okay. Back over here. Insert battery. You insert the battery from the gravity generator snugly into this compartment. It fits perfectly. Save before we try this. Okay, use console. By faults. Artificial gravity out of battery. That's fine. Battery now full though. Communication. Send all green signal to begin snail migration from home planets. Please enter four crew codes to transmit signal. Alright, 99. It's just enter them in honor. Oh, okay, puts dashes on them. Code accepted. Exit computer to begin all green at transmission. It is. It is done. I have saved our people from the snail menace. I must rush back to the tower and give the good news. Erin and I will dine on escargot tonight. I have a feeling something terrible has just happened. Shelly, you're right. Back on the snails, dying home world. It's the all green signal, they did it. Planet K291B will be our new home world. Start the migration immediately. Never again will we lack for lettuce. Oh, we got a perfect score. Huh? To be concluded in chapter four. Nice. So yeah, that was an interesting twist. I did not expect we would be changing, which uh, we'd be changing from the snails to the mollusks when we play, play as. We did get all 55 points. Uh, I get we got all the achievements, but I was sitting to check that. Oh, let me see. Uh, yeah, we got four of the eight achievements. So we, ah, oh, we didn't get all the ways to die. There's an achievement, a speedrunner achievement from getting from the right side of the store to the right side of the maintenance shaft in under 40 seconds of game time. And then there are two different achievements. Yeah. Alright, yes, I'm curious in chapter four. Which uh, hopefully we'll play tomorrow night. Will we play back again as the snails or continue on with the dogs? Or, yeah, probably. Will they make us two sides? 
Yeah, it's, it's still fun. It's got I, I could do without the hints. If it had the hints, it would be a lot better. I can understand it maybe for chapter one, but anyone who's playing chapter two or chapter three played almost certainly played chapter one and therefore knows how to play. Other than that, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed the uh, I enjoyed the plot and the puzzles are pretty decent. 